What you're going to see in this video is how the implant crown gets attached to the implant. What is a little bit tricky to get our heads around sometimes is that the implant itself is a screw and then the way the crown is attached to the implant is also with the screw. So the screw that attaches the crown to the implant goes down through the middle of the crown. Okay, so there's a channel down through the middle of your crown and that allows the, the screw to seat and for us to use our drivers and our instruments to tighten that screw so it's really nice and tight we um, tighten it to 35 newton centimeters so we have a little torque wrench that we make sure it's nice and secure once we have done that then that channel that's through the center of the crown we fill up with white filling material that way it looks like um, there's a whole complete tooth and nothing's going to get stuck inside there the benefits of having a uh, crown attached to the implant with the screw are that it's completely retrievable so that if anything happens to your crown like if it gets chipped or it needs to be replaced or repaired or if there's something going on with your implant and we want to take the crown off to check everything we can easily remove it without destroying the crown so the crown can come on and off the other way that implant crowns can be attached to the implant is they get cemented so this is how a crown gets attached to a tooth, it gets cemented on. The um, disadvantage of using cement is that if you want to take it off, you have to destroy the crown. And also, it's very hard to control where the cement goes on an implant. So the first thing we have to do is take off the healing abutment. It's the little protective cap that screws into the implant so that the gum can heal around it. It's titanium different colors correspond to the different sizes of the implant you can see that this one here is gold and there is a really nice healthy looking gum you can see that there's a really good thick band of attached gum there we've tried the crown in checked the contacts and we just screw it in to finger tightness and then we take an x-ray to make sure that everything is seated well into the implant once we've confirmed that everything is fitting beautifully, you can see here I've got the torque wrench and we're torquing it down to 35 newton centimeters to make it really nice and secure. There it is. After filling most of that access channel with Teflon tape, we fill the top part with white filling material. This way it looks just like the ceramic, it's nice and strong so you can chew on it properly but if we ever need to remove the crown for whatever reason we can easily drill through that white filling material, remove the Teflon tape and access the crown. There it is looking very very nice, this will give a, a really long service life and good function.